we are learning in order to learn and new things yeah let's move on then so the, the two concept the two sequence is clear to you all say yes a big yes if it's clear is it so shall we move on to the next section where you will have to reorder sentences are you all ready all right so we'll move on to the next sequence where we we'll look a look at the arrangement of sentences fine okay can anybody rearrange the first sentence for me okay so what are the parts of sentences here of narrative the maybe synonym used as word story a uh. anybody so what is the first rule that i have given you what are you supposed to do first when you see a sentence any jumble what is the first thing that you have to do you have to find the subject yes it is difficult is it is it raman let's find the subject first of all to find a subject what you have to do to first of all look for the article because most of the sentences most of the times start with an article all right so what what could be the article over here da is the article and da can go with what word tell me quickly the word story yes so the word story try to form a sentence may be used as is that a name of a movie which one which one raman word story no i don't think so it's just a simple sentence there okay try to form a coherent sentence from that from the given jumble words Raman, please concentrate on the sentence structure. You have to form a sentence now. Anyone who wants to do it first for me, Shweta, Kabir, Raman, Rahul, who is going to do it? The word story may be used as a synonym of narrative. Okay, so who all agree with it? Everybody agrees that this is the correct sentence. not full the glass is raman what are you doing not we have moved on so move on to this sentence concentrate here okay so the word story may be used as okay so i'm forming it for you okay so this will be your the will be your first will be the first one in the sequence okay correct all right the word story may be used as narrative is a story it's 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 more about a story where you narrate a particular sequence in a manner yeah is for a written account yes yes it's an account of events it is it's written in a sequence in a particular manner that is narrated to you told to you by somebody who is a spokes person either a spokes person okay narrative were actually derived from folklore and folklore times okay so narrative has come from that okay so arrangement you want you did it the word story may be used as a synonym the word story may be used as a oh where did it go as a synonym of narrative yes right okay doesn't matter she she gave the right answer there yeah so rearrangement was done to you you understood it how it was rearranged right so what did you see the first of all you you try to find out the subject in a sentence then the second rule was to find the verb and then when you form a sentence try to 
form a sentence, write it down and see if that sentence is giving you a proper complete meaning or not. Is it just conveying half of the meaning or is it giving you a complete sense? That is what you have to look for in a sense. Understood? If that is clear, I'm sure you will be able to answer the two other jumble words very easily. Let's do it then. The second one. Can anybody do it for me? Okay, let's have a look at what, what are the parts of a sentence. What are the jumble words given over there? It is important part is the mode narrative and narration of. So, a narrative is, I'm giving you a hint here. Tell me, who is going to give me the answer? But you can't start from the right. You can't start it with the because the is preceded by is. You just can't start your, uh, your sentence with is the. You can't split them into parts when, there is, when they are together in a sentence. Okay? Can you start a sentence with is the? Can you do that? No? Try, try, try. Look for an article. Okay, you can start your, I'm giving you a hint. You can start the sentence with an. Now tell me, what could be it? An important. Absolutely, Kabir. An important. Now, what could be important? An important part of narration, because narration is a bigger thing, part of narration is the narrative mode. Clear? Did you get the idea how it is formed? What are the things you look for in a sentence while forming it? You try to make a sequence? Yeah? Is it understandable? Are you able to form sentences out of these jumble words? Yeah? Yeah, Ria? Okay. So, who is going to do the third one? Quickly. The third one is very easy, very easy. Cinderella is the subject. Absolutely. And then? found out the subject here. Cinderella is the subject. Now, what is the second step? What are we going to do now? Cinderella? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Rahul, very smart you are. Cinderella is a folk tale, absolutely. Is a folk tale. And then, then move, moving on, what does it do? Embodying. It is embodying the element of myth. Okay? So, when you form the sentence completely, you completely form a sentence, does that make a sense to you? You have to look for if the sentence is giving you proper coherent meaning or not. These are the... Where is it? Okay, so Cinderella is a... Uh, is a folk tale embodying an element. Okay, so this is before before element. All right. Okay, so if uh, it will be embodying an element of myth. Yes. So you have got nine parts then. Yes, absolutely. Yes, Ria. Okay. So this sentence was again clear to you. You understand how it is formed, the sequence, and and at the end you have to always go back to the sentence and check if that is giving a proper meaning or not. Right? So, did you all understood anything? Did you all understand what it was? Yeah? You understood what it was? The class was all about? It was about rearrangement, reordering and what are the rules? What are the things that you have to look for? First of all, what is the first thing that you have to look for in a sentence? Tell me. It is the subject. Yes? 
and then look for the verb that will generally conjugate two parts that will generally combine two parts yeah and then what will happen you look for the take of the sentence and check for its meaning that is very very important fine okay so shall i end the class now i'm going to end this class here now i hope you all understood and tell me if you will be able to arrange sentences like these in future you all will be able to rearrange sentences in proper manner practice more kabir please go and practice we have many other uh, practice questions even in our website on merit nation so you can go there and practice many more example like these okay so please